I start my command prompt. We created this command prompt in our previous episode. I'm in CPP extension tutorial folder. DIR 048 star hit enter. Then you can find 048 binary tree dot CPP. CL EHSC STD C++17 048 binary 3.cpp fe bin grep exe hit enter so we created bin grep exe successfully from this youtube Introduction to ABL tree. We will draw this graph like this. Bin graph 10. 10 is the root node. 8, this number, and node 15. Then 7, 9. Then 12, then 17, 6, 16, this node, then 18. If we hit enter, this pin graph generates some digraph like this. Then we can redirect G1, ZB. With this syntax, hit enter, then dir g1 gb is created like this. Type g1 gb, it displays the contents. From this graph, dot t png g1 GB, this is input file. Output is G1 PNG. We create PNG file in CPP extension root, CPP extension tutorial folder. G1 PNG file is created. If we open, this graph is created. If you compare this graph with this graph, they are identical. 10 at root node, 7, 6, 7, 6, 17, 16, 16, 18, 18. So using bin graph, using this command and combining with the dot, we generated this graph in graphical representation. We will try another example. From this video, ABL3, bin graph, at root node 50, then 17, 72, 12, 23, this node, 54, 76, 9, 14, 19, 67, G, G2, GB, hit enter, then DOT, T, PNG, G2, GB, O, G2, PNG, hit enter. Then you can find the P G2 PNG like this. If we compare this graph and this graph, they are identical. 50 at root node, at the leaf node, 12, this is 12, 9, 14, 9, 14 as the leaf node, then 23, 23, 19, 19, 54, 54, 67, 67. 
So using bin graph and DOT, we generated graph in graphical format. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 7th, 2019. This is my 48th episode about the future of C++ programming, C++ 2A standard. In this and future episode, we will learn about binary tree and ABL binary tree or ABL trees. When we create some complex data structure, we have to carefully debug our data structure. In such case, when the data structure is a little bit complex, if we use graphbits, it can be much easier to debug our source code. Also, using graphbits enables us to visualize our data structure. To do that, I created a simple application for demonstration purpose. To download complete source code, please visit extension talkplayfun.com website. From this website, if you click this button, click show in folder. If you unzip it, then cpp extension tutorial subfolder, you can find the binary tree cpp. You can open this file from Visual Studio Code. I will explain about this binary tree in my next episode and some future episode I will also explain how to implement ABL trees. To follow this episode and my future episode, you need to install Intel threading building block, also make system environment variables. If you haven't watched and made proper system environment variables, Please click this link and watch this video and install Intel threading building block, make proper system environment variable settings. Also, you need to watch this video, Intel threading building blocks, Visual C++, GNU C++, Clang++ on command line. You also have to watch this video and make proper system environment variable settings and also create command prompt like this and also another command prompt like this. Otherwise, you cannot follow my future episode. Please understand that Intel threading building block is not yet C++ standard, but I believe most algorithms and features from Intel threading building block will be future C++ standard. It may not be C++ standard exactly as in Intel threading building block, but most algorithms and the concept will be integrated into future C++ standards. So if you understand Intel threading building block, your future as a C++ programmer is bright. So I highly recommend you watch these two videos, this video, and also this video and install Intel threading building blocks on your machine. In future episode, I will explain what is ABL tree and how to implement them all by yourself. I will show you all source code and I will also try to explain the concept of my source code, how to build, how to create advanced data structure ABL tree. As a C++ programmer, we can use standard C++ template library and algorithm, but in some case, standard C++ algorithm and data structure or SDL library are not perfect. We need to create our own data structure by ourselves. So I highly recommend you to watch Intel threading building blocks and these two video and make proper system environment variable settings such that you can implement advanced data structure by yourself in future episode. In your command prompt, dot version with this command, if you don't see any message, then 
Grapefish is not installed. In your web browser, Grapefish download, hit enter. Then Grapefish download website. Executables on Windows. You can download either stable version or development Windows installer package. I will install stable version. Click this link. Then you can download MSI package. Also in Google, search for DOT manual. Grab this. Hit enter. Then you can download this DOT manual. Like this. Then clicking this link, you can download DOT guide. Since I already installed Grapevis, this tool, I will first remove. I will remove my existing installation. This. Uninstall. I just uninstalled Grapevis. Then I will double check environment variables. I need to check path. So there is no graph bits here. And I will also check it here. I will remove this environment path settings. I will delete. Click OK. In your case, if you haven't installed Grapevis, you don't need to remove your existing Grapevis. Now double click it. Next. Everyone. Next. You can install Grapevis like this. Close. Go to environment once again. Right click, search, environment, environment variables, path. Then you cannot find Grapevis here. After installing Grapevis, please restart your machine. This episode continues after rebooting my machine. I've just restarted my machine. Start your command prompt. Please understand that we created this command prompt in our previous episode. If you haven't created this command prompt, please double click this link and watch this video. Then you can create command prompt like this. In the command prompt, DOT version. So DOT is not recognized as internal or external command. If you have this error message, then we have to set environment variables for DOT like this. Start file explorer, program files, graphvis 2.38, bin, copy this folder, copy, Right click, search, environment, click edit system environment variable, environment variables, click here, edit, create new, paste, hit enter, then click OK, click OK, then click OK. Close this command prompt. Then start command prompt again. Then DOT version. Then now you should see DOT Grapevis is installed properly. Please understand that creating this command prompt is important for our future episode. If you haven't watched my previous episode installing Intel threading building block, please watch these two videos. This video 
and this video create two command prompt like this. Otherwise, you cannot follow my future episode. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.